Hello and welcome back to the Cataclysm. Varmithrax here with episode number 150 of our Let's Play tutorial for Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. And we're trapped in a vault. It's late at night. Uh, we shouldn't have a problem getting out of here and moving on. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and activate our probability travel ability. Tra probability travel ability. And we're just going to pop right through the wall. Turn it back off again. All right, so power's doing okay, and we're just going to keep moving. We are tired, so we do need to head back to our vehicle. Um, it is dark, and we're in our on our rollerblades, so this shouldn't be too tough. But first, we need to run, get over here to some hard ground. There we go, right there. All right, now we're back to our quick movement speed, 38 movement points, and we can just get moving. I can't see very far, so I'll, I think I'll stay right here on this zoom level. And we'll just get moving. Hello, zombie. Goodbye, zombie. Oops, turn off run mode. Somebody's banging on a vehicle. They're welcome to it. Moving around at night. On rollerblades with night vision is fairly safe. Once you've done it a couple of times, not much danger involved. All right, I went too far. <laughs> we overshot the road, the turnoff I wanted. Ooh, hello, Zombie Master, you have to die. This guy we are going to smite mightily. I kill these every chance I get. They are nasty, nasty, nasty. Do not leave these guys around. They're easy to kill once you get on them. Their ability, though, is they upgrade other zombies. So they turn little easy zombies into medium tough zombies and then turn them into hard zombies and then turn them into ridiculously tough zombies. So get rid of these guys every single chance you get. All right, he is down and pulped. No coming back for you. All right, kind of glad we saw him. And now we just pretty much head straight out the road here. I'll stay on the line so you can see some movement with little dots. Ooh, hello, van right in the way. Mm, fire truck with all sorts of gear. I don't really need fire gear any longer. Um... Coats, trousers, boots, helmets, a lot of good stuff. I'm going to note it on the map. Fire truck full of gear. If we happen to need uh, turnout gear or Kevlar plates, we can come back. Jeez, another one. This one pretty broken, but uh, still, even more stuff. Ooh, hello, zombie. Switch back to run mode. I'm moving pretty slow on that terrain. Back to walk again. All right, what do we got here? A Z9 and a creepy crawler, huh? And a firefighter zombie. Hmm. How's my encumbrance doing? Pretty high, because I've got the backpacks and battle rifle and such on. Um, I think I'm going to kill this stuff. It's fairly close to my base. Or my vehicle. So let's just get rid of the stuff. Apparently there's a lot of zombies nearby. We got everything killed. Anything they have that I care about? Um, minor cash cards. Sort by category again. Geiger counter. Bandage. I'll grab the bandage. I think I'll just unload the Geiger counter. As well as the PBA mask. Uh, and I don't care about the rest really.
All right, getting pretty close to the vehicle. And there we go. Okay, so we made it back. Let's close it up. I do have optical dampers so I can sleep through the morning, but I really don't want to do that because there's probably zombies that are going to spot me when the sun comes up. So we'll just get a few hours sleep. Uh, it's 1 a.m. Maybe we'll get five, six hours. I don't know exactly when the sun's going to come up. It is day two of spring, so we're on a brand new year. Oops, didn't mean to start the vehicle up. <laughs> Wrong hotkey. That one there is what I want. All right, just go ahead and go to sleep. <sighs> Something making noise already. Uh, you banging my vehicle? Yep, those guys can see in the dark. Any others in the area want to come say hi? Guess not. I'll try to sleep again. Alright, there we go. 4 a.m., 5 a.m., got the full healing. And we got woken up by the dawn, and it's 8 o'clock, so we got a pretty good amount of sleep. So that wasn't bad at all, actually. So we're in good shape. And we did clear that bank. So we've got another bank over here to go to. And then... None up there. Uh, there is one up here, but I don't know if I want to go up that far yet. Uh, I know I saw one... Uh, there's that one there. Might be more up that way. Kind of hard to tell. Don't see any in this town. And we haven't really explored down here yet. Quite a bit of this town. Oh yeah, there's one right there as well. So we've still got a few banks to hit. Um, yeah, but let's just scoot around to the other side. We'll scoot over and we'll head into this bank next. So we're just going to basically circle around the city again. Man, I do love this vehicle. This thing is awesome. Hello, crowd of zombies. Zombie Hulk. Where's the Hulk? Right there in the crowd. No particular reason to kill a Hulk if I don't have to. We'll just avoid him. That's the kind of thing that those uh, zombie masters will upgrade things into. So they'll go uh, tough, brute, Hulk, and so on. So that's why I want to get rid of masters early and often. Alright, how are we doing? Getting a little closer. Okay, that's the bank dead ahead of me. Let's... Alright, so the vault is going to be on the opposite corner from where I'm at now, so let's come back this way. See how fast we can get in and out of this place. Actually, speed is not going to be possible because I've got to uh, stethoscope the doors. So let's pull the vehicle back away from everything. Kill the stupid decayed bouncer decided to come mess with me. All right, anything else coming from this area? Don't care about the bee. Alright, we're going to kill these couple of zombies that are coming towards me, and then we'll pop through the wall. I am a bit over encumbered, that's why I'm missing more often, but these guys can't really penetrate my armor, so that's fine. A couple first aid kits, we'll definitely grab that. And again, I don't need the firefighter gear. Okay, so we're going to go through right here. Alright, nothing on the counter but some money bundles. 
crack, safe crack number one, nothing. Number two, power armor, basic power armor, number three, uh, RivTech design binder. Decent recipe book, uh, basic power armor. We'll, uh, again, we'll note it. But I'm not going to carry it out with me. Too bulky, too heavy, not worth carrying. Oh, almost left the glass of purifier. Definitely grab that. Be careful to make sure you actually look at the space, because I almost passed up that, not realizing there were multiple items here. So we got some purifier at least. That will be useful for us. Okay. Um, I think we're good. We're good here. So let's have some pizza and some more pizza and some more water. Alright, full and slaked again. Let's pop back out of the bank. Makes bank robbing so much simpler. Uh oh, a Rottweiler. Okay, that bank is now done. Where are we going to go from here? Um, let's go... There's no other banks real close, unfortunately. None in this central city area. So we're either heading east to that one. And there's another one up there, which... Uh, we're going to have to go across some strange bridge action if we're going to get up to that one. Um, or we head out this way, hit that bank, and then we can't easily circle around this. Maybe we'll sweep down south, like so. I'm not sure where this river bank actually goes. It may be butted right up against the uh, side here and prevent our movement. Yeah, we'll kind of have to see. But I'd like to get more of that town explored. I do see the bank there, so I think we have banks all fully explored. We must have had a map that uh, shows banks, because there's a bank right in the middle of an unexplored area. There's another one I saw over here, right there. Uh, so, I don't need to explore to find the banks. I am very much still on the lookout for labs, though. There's another bank there. All right, so where to go? From where we're at currently, actually, another thing I keep forgetting to double check is uh, these dojos. Dojo, fitness gym, sporting good, hardware, don't care. Is that another dojo down there? Yep, dojo down there. Um, yeah, we want to hit those, so we're gonna do another roller skating run. So let's go in and get at least this dojo and fitness gym that are nearby. That dojo that fitness gym. So we'll go... Uh, we'll drive a little closer. I don't want to be doing too much walking or running uh, on rough ground with my rollerblades. Not hit that rock either. Ooh, Shocker Brute! Um, hmm... A lot of stuff nearby. Ton of rats. Or no, these are crows. A bunch of animals are fleeing, but there's a shocker brute right there. Him, we definitely want to kill and butcher for the possibility of some good bionics. Um, don't care about any of that stuff. So they're right in front of the dojo. That's the dojo right there. All right. Hmm. 
How are you doing, vehicle? Completely green. Oops, don't have uh, spike plating there. That's not good. Alright, so if I ram him, I want to ram him with the front left side of the vehicle. Driver's side, basically. Let's, uh... Let's try to lure him a little further away here. Get a nice clean run up. Alright, I think we got rid of him. Don't see too much else I'm worried about. Alright, I do want to start running. I want to get this guy onto the pavement. There we go. Now we can walk, and I'm just going to kill everything that's out here. Uh, what do I care about first? Let's get rid of... I guess it doesn't really matter. Still rather not get multiples on me at once. Alright, you. You are pesky. You... God dang it. Here comes all the acid. <laughs> Holy crap. Wow. Alright. He was a lot tougher than I expected. Well, that was pretty dangerous. Um, hmm. So, corrosives, we still have to be really careful about. We weren't doing nearly the damage I was expecting to do. Oh, we're using the rapier. <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> My bad. That should have been S-Doc the whole time. Uh, let's skate away from this for just a second. Whoa, another Shocker Brute? Oh boy. Uh, back that direction. Hmm. This is getting a little dangerous now. Um, Alright, activate. I want the S-Doc. Should have been using that from the beginning. Totally didn't realize I had the uh, rapier out. Big shovel. We'll deal with all that later. Um, butcher corrosive. Wear the fire mask. Try again. Alright, the acid guys are butchered. Um, Rocker Brood Corpse is here. Trying to get him cut up before anything else happens. What did we get? An offensive defense system. Never heard of one. A thin force field surrounds your body, continually draining power. This field does not deflect penetration, but rather delivers a strong shock, damaging unarmed attackers and those with a conductive weapon. Alright, so it's a personal shock field. That's pretty cool. Never seen one of those before. Alright, now let's take care of ourselves. Uh, let's take some aspirin, a couple of them. And there's nothing in sight, but I know we've got those things in that building. I'm just out of visual range on. I think I'm going to take a chance and activate a uh, first aid kit. So, first aid kit, activate on our torso. Alright, full health on the torso. And then let's just do bandages on our legs. So, bandage on right leg. And we'll do one more. And then one on the left leg. There we go. Alright, I'm much more comfortable now. So, aspirin will bring the pain down. Our speed kind of sucks right now because uh, the painkillers and pain that we're under. 
So I'm just going to sit here for a short bit. Uh, I guess we'll take the time to go ahead and pulp all the rest of this stuff while we're waiting for our pain to drop. Okay, anything else on the ground to care about? Uh, Sig, don't really care. Um, a grappling hook. I don't remember seeing one of those recently. Keep yourself safe from falls. Also has rapid strike and spinning strike. Well, that's pretty entertaining. That'd be fun to find a uh, weapon style for. Oops, firefighter zombie over there. There we go. Anything else that I care about? Don't need that. Don't care about the clothing. No. We're good. Let's go ahead and take a look at the dojo. Then we'll head over and kill that other shocker brute. Yeah, we'll definitely grab the grenade. And smoker zombie. Good thing we got our fire mask on. Goodbye, smoker. Take a peek inside the... Oops. Take a peek inside the street cleaner. What you got for me, street cleaner? No inventory over here. Absolutely nothing, really? Huh. Alright, usually they've got stuff. PC. 14 liters of diesel. That's kind of nice. But let's do what we came to do. Check out the dojo. What we're hoping to find is uh, martial arts training manuals. I'm on the search for Escrima. Either fencing or Escrima. Military ID card. MRE. Some pretty good stuff off of that. Alright, what you got for me? The Shotokan Karate Handbook. Not the one I was looking for, but we'll take it. Don't need the black belt. That's going to be all that's here. Alright. Read. Karate Handbook. I already know everything that book can teach. Alright, so we already had that one. So that one's empty. And down the road that way is the fitness gym. That's uh, actually the entrance is on the far side. Home Improvement Arcade Fitness Gym. Yeah, I don't really care about any of the other buildings in the area. Um, let's just take a roller skating trip down there. Still on painkillers? We are. We'll just roller skate our way down. My speed is still kind of low. Minus 8% because of the pain still. Let's have another aspirin. Oh, zombie master! Where you at, zombie master? Multiple brutes. There's the master straight ahead of me in a crowd of other zombies. Not ideal. Not ideal. Um, we're going to try to get him. If I see any shockers show up, I'm going to have to more carefully consider this, though. Don't care about these poison guys. I'll get close, let them blow themselves up. Guess we'll just kind of kill stuff as we go. <laughs> Ooh, Feral Predator. That gets more dangerous. So that's why you got to be really careful about these zombie masters. They create these really high-end zombies. So Feral Predator I need to pay attention to. Where are you at? Right there. Hmm. Of course, he's right next to the zombie master that I want to kill. Um... We're going to do it. We're going to keep moving. I think I still want to kill the spitter first. Acid and shock are still my primary dangers for taking damage. That predator's coming fast. 
Predator is here. They are quick. Alright. Pain is manageable. I'm trying to draw them away a bit. Hello, Predator. Oh, he hit me in the torso. We're losing blood. He also knocked me down. Alright, we're having some problems now. Okay, I haven't hit him yet. We're going to try to get away a little bit here. We need to get some room so just us and the Predator are dealing with each other. Can't afford to have too many things coming after me. Come on, Torso. Stop bleeding any time now. I uh, can't take the time to bandage. Yeah, alright. We got it bandaged. He only got one more hit in. So what I'm worried about now is our inability to hit him. That's largely due to how fast he is and how much dodge he has, combined with we've got a lot of eye encumbrance and our torso is encumbered. Uh, if I try to take things off, he's going to hit me a whole bunch of times, which is really bad. So this is pretty dangerous. If I could land one hit, I'd be a little, a little, a little happier. All right, we did land a hit for 44. He's heavily injured, so we only need probably one more hit, maybe two. Yep, down he goes. All right, and then we're going to get another bandage on. Stop the bleeding. All right, that is why you want to get rid of masters. That's the kind of thing masters are creating. They're upgrading all the local zombies, so super glad we got rid of that thing. I don't care about the rest. The rest will be easy to kill. They don't really have the ability to hit me very often. We'll smash these on our way back out. Got a lot of pain again, though. Let's take a tramadol. Hello, brute. You gonna punch me? Yep. Uh, ta -ta -ta. ripped a number of our items. Ah, oh, you see that? Did you see that? That punk. That was a tough. When I first hit it, and then he got upgraded into a brute by the uh, zombie master while I was fighting him. <laughs> you damn bastard master, you. Die. <laughs> so, I can't stress enough. Kill masters every chance you get. They will make your life miserable later if you don't kill them fast and often. Okay, I think we got everything killed in the local area. Took some damage, we're in some pain. Good times though. Curved needle, blankets, chardonnay. Uh, don't care about the rest of this stuff. Alright, where are we in relation to the building I want? Fitness gym is the next building over. Alright, you. And we just got a bite. Love this snapper. It's got like an alligator head. But there are definitely still things that can hurt us. Now the pain's getting out of control. So our stats and our speed are super low now because our pain is so bad. It's dropped our strength enough that we're also considered overburdened. So we got some issues. Painkillers are still in effect. Um, we're going to disinfect that arm. i got to do it now. Because I need to not have any of these effects happening. Uh, da, 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 disinfectant. Yep. And activate on our arm. We got rid of that. Let's smash up. Uh, no. Crap. All right, well, I just hurt myself a bunch again. That wasn't smart. I didn't realize I had one of the uh, acid zombies here. All right, can we get into this building and get out again without any more fights? Of course, shocker zombie. <laughs> just what I don't want to deal with. Shade, where's the back room? No, I don't want that. I want the office where we might find a book. 
No, nope, there's no office in this place. Alright, not, uh... Not returning to fitness gyms in the future. Alright, we're just leaving. So, we want dojos, but not fitness gyms. Don't need a sporting goods store. I think that's it for here. Another sporting good, right? That that's a fitness and sporting good again. Tons of sporting goods stores. Dojo way down there. Um, I think we might have looked into that previously while we were skating around that whole area. I can't remember. However, though, we are going to start running. Our speed kind of sucks now because we don't have nearly as many movement points as we did. So you can see the zombies are moving way faster now. That's because my stats and my pain are so high. So we're in a bit of trouble here. We're in a lot of trouble here. Alright, hope the rest of the way is clear, because we can't afford anything now. We're in a lot of danger. Alright, where are these enemies? Yeah, we uh, stretched things out way too far. Not gonna bother trying to stop and uh, pulp everything. Feral predator is gonna stay. Ooh, first aid kits. Those will grab. Where's the predator? Predator's really all I care about. Is this the predator over here? That's the predator. All right, him. We're gonna try to butch or try to. Yeah, we'll butcher him. Alright, we got rid of him at least. Oh, that's right, I can't carry anything more. I'm overburdened. Uh, by quite a bit. Um, our vehicle is straight out that direction. Alright, really hope we get to it without finding anything else. Stop running. Oops, stop running. We're overburdened. I really need to get to the vehicle here. Alright, we made it back to the vehicle, so we should be safe. Okay, well that was a lot more exciting and dangerous than I thought it was going to be. Um, do, 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 do not take escalating pain uh, without uh, understanding the effects. So pretty much everything that happened to us there was due to the pain escalating and constantly lowering our uh, stats and our abilities. So our speed started dropping, our stats started dropping, and it just got worse and worse and worse. So it'll escalate really, really quickly. So make sure you take care of that kind of stuff as much as possible. All right, back in the vehicle. I think we're going to close the episode out right here. So we got a few things accomplished. Yeah, get your stamina back. I'm tired of hearing you breathe. Not gonna be able to go after that other uh, shock brute right now, obviously. Um, we we'll probably need to pull back to safety, get a good night's sleep. So we might just do a little bit of traveling, uh, do a little bit of scouting while we're hurt, and when the darkness comes or our tired state hits, then we'll sleep it off and get some healing done. Uh, so next episode, we'll probably do a little bit of scouting, see what we can find, move to a new area, and then uh, do some more banks or something. So, hope you're enjoying the series. Let me know what you think down below. Helps a lot if you hit that like, comment, and subscribe option. It really helps the channel out in drawing some more attention and bringing in new viewers. So I would appreciate it. I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye-bye.